so many funny Bible stories. All right, let's see it. He gets made fun of by a group of teenagers and then a bear attacks them. The text doesn't describe teenagers, it describes little boys. I wish bears would attack groups of children who demean me. Someone referenced that trying to like hurt my faith and I was like, you're just making me happier. The word commonly translated children probably meant a group of young men. This is entirely false. The passage explicitly refers to little boys. The Hebrew noun na'ar occurs about 250 times in the Hebrew Bible and fundamentally refers to youth or childhood. So it can be used to refer to newborns all the way up to the age of around 20 or 25. Now, there's a figurative secondary sense where it is used to refer to young men and adults who occupy more servile social stations in life. So servants, attendants, stewards, cultic functionaries, members of the military can be referred to with this noun, na'ar. But that is a different sense from the one that refers fundamentally to childhood or youth. Now, when we attach the adjective katan, little to na'ar, it very clearly refers to people on the younger end of that spectrum of childhood or youth. And so it means little children, little boys. Now, some people who are determined to excuse this story will intentionally misread 1 Kings 3, 7, where Solomon is humbling himself before God and saying, you made me king in place of David, and I am just a little child who does not know how to go out or come in. And they insist this means that a full-grown adult king can be a little child, which is laughable. This is a hyperbolic way of referring to his inexperience by referring to himself as if he were a little child. This very clearly does not mean the phrase na'ar katan can refer to a full-grown adult. This refers to little boys. Tradition says they were selling the people of Jericho clean water at high prices. Elisha had just purified the water of Jericho, ruining their business. So this tradition, which is found in Ginsberg's The Legends of the Jews, I think volume four, is a medieval Jewish tradition that, like the attempt to say these were young men and not little boys, is trying to excuse the story, make it sound like it's okay that Alicia cursed these children and they were killed by bears. Uh, there are absolutely no data from the ancient world that support this tradition. And there's another similar tradition from around the same time period that says, oh, they weren't little boys, they were adult men. Men, but they were acting like little boys and that's why it's okay that they were all torn to pieces by bears also the young men say go up the same language is used to describe Elijah being taken to heaven yes the little boys are represented as challenging Elisha's authority that's the rhetorical point of the story these little boys challenged his authority this is what they got don't challenge the prophets authority the scene is showing Elisha surrounded by a large group of angry, evil young men who were telling him to die. That's not the scene. That is what people have made up in order to rehabilitate and sanitize this story that very clearly and explicitly was originally about Elisha cursing little boys who were then torn to pieces by bears. Shane's right, though. The story is hilarious. So this is obviously an attempt to try to use this sanitized, rehabilitated, made-up version of this story as a means of leaning into ownership, as a means of appropriating it as something entertaining, as something valuable, as something funny. Nobody finds this story actually funny. You just say it's funny as a means of taking away the rhetorical sting from those who use it as a means of criticizing the Bible. It's saying, you can't hurt me with this story if I think it's funny. Ha ha ha, I think it's funny. 